Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of Shy Boys Podcast. Look, tonight we take on the Atlanta Hawks in the game to if the Chicago Bulls win, we lock in a play-in spot. Man, y'all know we got to talk about it, but you know we got to hit our music first. Cognac. Gang. Gang. Shy Boys Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby holding it down on another daily episode for me and my co-host C-Dub. If you like what you're listening to today, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Look, we already know the Chicago Bulls, these guys, hey, it's been an up and down season. But the last few, ever since All-Star break, we've been live and rolling. That's it. That's all. That's what we've been. That's what we've been doing. We've been live and rolling. We already knew what it was, kind of with Patrick Beverly coming to this team. And I always said it. It might not always be the prettiest, but at least it's going to be much, much more interesting. You feel me? The Chicago Bulls are 38 and 40 right now with an opportunity to go up 39 and 40 in a record. Can the Bulls finish the season at 500? I don't know. But the Bulls, every time they get close to 500, they get knocked right back down. So we got to go ahead and just rock it. And take it a day, a game at a time because that's what it really is. Uh, these guys are going against the Atlanta Hawks team. These guys are 39 and 39. So if the Chicago Bulls go ahead and tie it in the win column with them and take the season series, the Chicago Bulls tonight can lock in a play in spot. This is a this is probably one of the most important. This entire stretch going down is the most important stretch of the season, just because what it could potentially mean. The Chicago Bulls are in a tip seed. If they win tonight, they move up, hold the tiebreaker against the Atlanta Hawks, slide up into the ninth seed with the potential of moving up. In the last, they'll have three games left after tonight. So if you move up to that ninth spot, you host a home play-in game. If the Chicago Bulls can somehow get to that eighth seed, that's, that's the sweet spot right there. Yes, that play-in game against the Miami Heat will be on the road, but if the Bulls lose, they are still alive. Now, if the Bulls still hang on and be in that ninth seed, they if they lose, you ain't alive. It's one, two, three, Cancun. So the question is, will the Chicago Bulls lock in their play-in spot tonight? Y'all already know. The season between the Atlanta Hawks has been crazy. It's been lit. We had some – every game has gone down to the wire with different outcomes happening at the uh, buzzer. For each time that these teams have played each other, you had the Atlanta Hawks and Adrian Griffin Jr. doing his thing in one game. Then you had Iodo Sumu doing his thing in one game. And then another game, you had DeMar DeRozan close it out, which had the series between the two teams at 2-1 and one in favor of the Chicago Bulls. Now, if we're looking at the overall totality of what the hell has transpired in the last 10 games, the Atlanta Hawks are 5-5. Five and five, So they have been average. Uh, Trey Young, he just got his second coach ran up out the door and looked like his draft partner, Luka Doncic, is about to get his second out the door, but that's another topic for another channel. Nonetheless, the Atlanta Hawks are 5-5 five for five in their last 10 games, while the Chicago Bulls have had some, some games to at leave you scratching your head, you're upset, you know I'm out here telling y'all to remain even kill, but at the end of the day, in the last 10 games, the Chicago Bulls are 7-3. and three. You can't get better than that. And the Bulls, to be honest with you, if you can't get the eighth seed, you should at least want that ninth seed so you can host a home play-in game. And that'll be lit because then now you get yourself more comfortable. You handle business against whoever that 10th seed might be, maybe the Atlanta Hawks. And if you beat them tonight, then you got the lead on them 3-1 with a little bit more confidence. And now you're going to be at home in front of your home crowd. That, that tilts you know, the game balance more in favor of the Chicago Bulls. So you got to go ahead, handle business. This is a must-win game. We're definitely going down the stretch. Don't know what it is. For their remaining schedule, the Atlanta Hawks, they have Boston and Milwaukee. They have the Boston Celtics twice and Milwaukee Bucks. But the problem is that these, on the last two of those, the, the last two of those games, they might be sitting people over there. So the Bulls can't mess around with none of these games. You know what I'm saying? They got the Hawks tonight and then Milwaukee tomorrow. 
So we gotta be we gotta be on one accord. But I do gotta say this: we need our players, our young guys, our young guys that's been doing their thing these last few weeks. We need Iodo Sumu come in, take care of your son, take care of your son, Io. Handle him, get him in check, make sure he good to go, make sure he right, oh bro. So we gotta get Io in now. I need that. We need to see a game from Io. We need to see more maturation from Kobe White. Kobe White has been on a tear, and I'm going to say it again. Pay that man his money, and that's what it really is. I would love to see more of Patrick Williams. Let him see him have an impact that he had in previous games this season. And then the Chicago Bulls, you just can't come in messing around. Like, all those games that we have, especially the game, the previous game that we have against Memphis, you can't continuously go down like that. Yes, it was beautiful to see a comeback win, see the, the Bulls lock in and be down by 23 and then eventually win by 21. It was great to see, but that is not winning basketball. It's not sustainable, you know, you know, moving forward. You, you want to build some consistency. You want to come out with better energy. You want to be able to, quote, unquote, embrace the uh the challenges. You know what I'm saying? Ab embrace the adversity, as Pat, as Pat Bev says. So that's fine and dandy. It's cool. But at the end of the day, you got to come out with better energy against these teams to handle business. Because if you go down 21 against most teams, you, you ain't coming back. It's easy to come back as well once you start getting it going, get some stops, string together, some stops together, get Ayodo Sumo, Kobe White, and all those other guys, Zach Levine, attacking and hitting threes and getting steals and getting in the passing lanes. Those are all fine. But. You gotta you got you gotta be able to keep the game within good distance because good teams right now that's trying to get that's trying to you know trend upward and starting to hit their peak. You definitely like Milwaukee Bucks, you know what I'm saying? That that's a solid team over there with championship aspirations, the number one seed in the East. You want to be able to come out and play your, your best basketball against teams like that. So the Chicago Bulls gotta handle business. I expect a big game from Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan as well. We seen one of them drop 39, the other one dropped 31. But the key to the key stat for both of them that made the most sense for me were the assist. Zach with nine assists, DeMar with seven. That means you guys are creating offense for others to keep them comfortable and involved in the offense. That should be something that should be looked that uh, the stars of the team should be looking into a little bit more. And they need to have the IQ to know when it's necessary to keep Vooch involved and get him involved when things get tough. That's the only way that the Chicago Bulls can sustain sustain some of this success. This is a must-win game against the Atlanta Hawks. Hey, so y'all just go ahead and let me know how y'all feeling about everything because right now the Bulls, you, you, can't, you can't come in here and play around with these guys. But I say I'll let to say that the Chicago Bulls, they will lock up their play-in spot tonight. This is a must-win game. If they win, they are in. And that's it. I mean, it, it ain't really going to be like they out. But you need that tiebreaker against a team like this just in case Toronto start to fall. Chicago Bulls start to rise. You get in that eighth spot, which is the sweet spot. You beat Miami Heat before. You can definitely beat them again. And you can set yourself up for some success. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know your, let me know all your thoughts and all how you're feeling right below in that comment box. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you want to leave us a voicemail or a text message, I am going to start posting these on every episode as they come in. If that's y'all request, we going to give it to you. So go ahead and send them in. Send the voicemails in. Make sure we keep it to three minutes. I'm going to send a text message in. Let me know y'all thoughts so y'all can go ahead and start sending them in. And we can go ahead and get busy. Y'all already know. But this is another episode of Shy Boys Podcast. I'm Bobby. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Cognac. Cognac.